translation begins in a specific sequence known as shine dalgarno sequence. After initiation, the ribosome moves along the RNA and as it moves along, the amino acids are piled up and forming a peptide. This is how the protein translation takes place inside a prokaryote and also eukaryote cells. Now, the building block of this peptide are the amino acids. Have you ever wondered what are the molecules which can bring these amino acids to ribosome such that it can really nick the whole necklace? And these molecules are charged tRNA, which are loaded with a new amino acid and have an anticodon loop which is just complementary to the RNA sequence or the complementary to the codons. In this video, we are going to look at how this loading of amino acids onto the tRNA takes place. This process is otherwise known as amino acylation of tRNA. So if you haven't yet subscribed the channel, why are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and watch this video till the end. So the key ingredient for this amino acylation reaction is the tRNA synthetase. This is the key enzyme which is involved in this process. Let's talk about the structure of this enzyme in a bit more details. This enzyme has an amino acid binding group where the amino acids are actually bound and are to be loaded on the tRNA. Then it has an ATP binding motif which binds to ATP because this process of amino acylation is ATP dependent and there is a tRNA binding motif which binds to the antigonal loop of the tRNA. All these domain ensures the amino acid, tRNA and ATP are in proximity such that the optimal reaction can go on. Now let's talk about the amino acylation process in a bit more details. Before that, you should always remember that Mg2 plus ions are really important in this process of amino acylation. So the first step is the amino acylation in this amino acylation process is addition of the amino acid with the ATP which is already bound to the ATP binding motif. So the amino acid forms bond with the phosphate group of the ATP and stay there in the active site. The next step the tRNA comes in. At the end of the tRNA in the 3' CCA motif there are hydroxyl groups. These hydroxyl groups mount electro nu nucleophilic attack into the carboxyl group of the amino acids. And as a result, there is rearrangement and the amino acylation reaction takes place. Now, many of the cases, the hydroxyl group is not the 2' hydroxyl group rather than it's a 3' hydroxyl group. In that case, the tRNA synthetase is known as type 2 while the normal case where there is 2' hydroxyl group as a nucleophil, the tRNA synthetase is known as type 1 tRNA synthetase. After that, be it any type of R amino acyl synthetase, the tRNA would be charged and can be loaded to the uh, ribosome. And after that, a chain of amino acids would form a polypeptide. And in this video, we just looked at the process of amino acylation in a bit more details. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.